Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm here with my mom. Hi. Doing. <laughs> Hi. Here we are with another Disney haul. We went to we went to Disneyland in California um, to go see Pixar Pier and celebrate Pixar Fest. Um, so yeah, we just spent three days over there and had a ton of fun. Bought a ton of stuff. Real excited. Let's get to it. We're not gonna talk about prices because a lot of the prices actually have like the, you know, the turquoise tags, the peach tags, so that would require us to look up like a ton of prices and that just isn't, that's just not, that's not happening. So just, we're just gonna show you what we got. Bring a lot of merch money when you, when you go to Disneyland. Um, yeah, that's a, that's, that's a, it. that's a good tip. Okay. We ready? Yep. Let's talk about the elephant in the room, or rather the elephant on the airplane as we boarded. <laughs> and she said it might not be a good idea. I said, yeah, it will. The elephant in the airplane. This is Slotso. I had to have him. I got him the first night. He's huge. He is a big boy. Can I tell the quick story on the plane? Yeah. So the lady next to me, when I, we got on the plane and I had him in my lap and she said, uh, what's the story on him? I said, I wanted him. <laughs> and she said, for grandkids? I said, no, for me. <laughs> I'm a big Disney fan, I said. And showed her my tattoos. She said, oh, how nice. <laughs> then the steward that came to give us our drinks said, can I put that in the overhead bin? I said, no, there's probably not room. He said, oh, he'll be okay. So that's, this is Lotso from Toy Story 3. He's so cute. And yes, he does smell like strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next thing I'm gonna buy. Okay, so this is a bag of ears. So first thing that I picked up once we got there, I had my heart set on it, and I found it as soon as we got into Disneyland, are the Mickey Bar ears. Um, they're brown sequins, and they have a pink bow, and it looks like somebody has taken a bite out of the Mickey Bar. Super cute. I really love Mickey Bars, so this was perfect for me. A photo op with a Mickey Bar where she bit out of it and had the Mickey ears on with it tied out. I'll put that photo right here. It was adorable. And then I also picked up the pride ears for pride month at disneyland and i was just really excited to pick up these because you know me i love pride i love the lgbt community so i was very excited to pick pumped. these up yes i was so pumped and then if you saw our other haul video from when we went to disney world you saw that we purchased the um clip-on bow ears to where you can you buy a single you buy a single headband and you can buy interchangeable bows so mom really liked you can show that one uh, toy story so this is uh Jessie. jesse's ears aren't they adorable so again these are clip-on and you buy the bow and you can clip these on they're so much fun and then i picked up the dory ones it's just the colors of dory and it looks like our little fins super cute and then also i picked up these scrunchies from pixar fest so this is a scrunchie that looks like mike wazowski and it has his little arms and legs and stuff and it's got his little eye and then it's got a sully scrunchie as well so they're both really fuzzy i'm really excited to wear them i was looking for the nemo scrunchie and i never found it like while we were there which is actually really sad but i was really these happy to these up yeah and then also mom is actually kind of mad because i found these and she didn't she found those earrings and i didn't know we were looking for earrings and she's got earrings and i didn't get any earrings <laughs> so there are these two dangly let me see if i can get you these two dangly earrings with woody and jesse on them and they have little toy story blocks super cute just really fun i'm probably gonna wear these two when we go to toy story land in a few weeks I'm just really pumped about this. I think they're so cute. Or I might wear them and she might, I might beat her to it. Mm, not if they're in my bag. The next thing that I got, that we got was free because we just took it from the room. 
But it we says stayed at the Grand, Grand Californian, Californian, and it's so awesome. So if you ever get a chance in California, the Grand Californian is so, so nice. Yeah. So we stayed at the Grand Californian, and they had a room occupied, um, like, door tag that you could put on your door, and it has Peter Pan and Wendy and all the characters from Peter Pan on it. So I was just really excited about that. And they're flying over London, and I was just like, this is so cute. And it says, room occupied, we're off to Neverland. Okay, so I love Monsters, Inc., I love it so much. And we went over in Pixar Pier through the gift shop there. And these are called what, spirit jerseys? Mm -hmm. I got a spirit jersey that is Monsters University. Look on the back. Isn't that cute? There's the whole thing. Can you see the sleeves? Mm -hmm. Just really, really, really adorable. So that's one uh, spirit jersey I got. So. The next one we got in a dress shop in downtown Disney. So this is something I didn't see in the Disneyland store, but it's a uh, Beauty and the Beast. There's her little rose, can you see it? Mm -hmm. And in the back. It says nice. Disneyland in a sparkling font. Yeah. So very nice, you just don't see that in all the, I didn't see it in the Disney park, it was in the dress shop in downtown Disney. Uh, matching jerseys and they are the peach and rose gold jerseys and they say they have the Disneyland D on the front mm -hmm. and then on the back they have Disneyland written in a gold font mm -hmm. and we also picked this up for our friend Brianna um, we picked that up for her as well as ears that are over there that I need to grab so we picked up these ears for Brianna they are Cheshire Cat ear ears and she really loves Alice in Wonderland and Cheshire Cat so these were perfect for her. They have two rhinestones and his That's smile awesome. and they have this little swirly tail right there. Just super cute and they really, really fit her and I was just very excited to get them for her. This is dad's stuff. Oh, um, Vince didn't get to go. So he stayed home and worked and let me and Sal take this trip. So we always try to get him some nice things when we go. So we always look for nice shirts because he loves dress shirts, you know, casual, I guess, shirts. So here is one of his shirts. Can you see it, Sam? Yeah, it's got little Mickeys embroidered all over it. Can little Mickeys, yes, you can see okay. it. Um, it's got Mickey lounging on a surfboard, Mickey walking with a surfboard, Mickey in a, in a hammock. It's just really nice and the material's really soft. It's and it so, so looks so really cute. nice on him. Yeah, so we got that for for him. Keep in mind, all the men's dress shirts, especially if they're Tommy Bahama collabs, are very expensive. They're more on the expensive side. We got this in an artist. Um, it's like uh, in the artist shop. Yeah, on, in, in downtown, uh, downtown Disney. Disney. Yeah. And the the uh, dye is very potent oh. right now, but we'll wash it, of course. And it's dead men tell no tales. It's Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, it's the artist's rendition of Pirates of the Caribbean, and it's got a lot of really cool details all over it. Um, so it's got skull and crossbones. It's got the ship. It's got dead men tell no tales. It's got various scenes from the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, and it's just so pretty and so different. And Dad really loved it. So. Yes, 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 yes. One last shirt we got him. Uh, oh, this was, a, this was a special one. No. Sally got the same one. Uh, this was on a rack over in Pixar Pier in um, the gift shop. And we, we it got our, caught our eye quickly. And what this is, it's the California Pass Holders Yeah, so this shirt. sh these shirts are only available to Disneyland Pass Holders. Now, we are Disney World Pass Holders, but that doesn't count in Disneyland. They won't... They want the, the, like if you're not a Disneyland pass holder, but we actually went on about how cute this little shirt is. It's got all of the Pixar characters because it was created specifically for Pixar Fest. Yes. So they only sell it at Pixar Fest in Pixar Pier. So the woman, I guess she was like, oh, I can override that. She let us buy these shirts and we were so pumped. She now only let us buy the shirts once we brought our Walt Disney World pass yes. holders though. So we'd so run back won't, room. It, that does not necessarily mean that you will get to purchase it if you go and say, hey, I really like the shirt. Like you may actually have to present your Walt Disney World pass if they let you buy it at but all. This and then we picked up a little dog bowl for Cookie, our dog. 
because her little tiny dog bowl is so wimpy and also slides around the floor. So we got this dog bowl that has rubber on the bottom that will stay in place and I am very excited. It's so cute. Because mm -hmm. it's so cute. Next things we picked up, we picked up in Disneyland on our last day. Mm -hmm. Mom got this shirt. Sally actually found it. It's so cute. It says, My Happy Place. Yeah, My Happy Place. So here it is. It's got the castle. And it's got this cute little, uh, little cut out over the shoulder so it's really cute and really different on mm -hmm. it's not just a regular t-shirt um it's really soft mm -hmm. really, really very soft. nice and then i picked up this fourth of july swing dress that has red wet and blue and mickey's all over it i plan on wearing it on the fourth of july um it actually is very similar to the swing dresses that they sell at american eagle and it's kind of the same material and the same cutout as well so it's got this little hole in the back and i just know that these dresses are super comfortable and i really love very cute, very cute Mickey design. So my biggest purchase was the Disney Tom. So Tom's and Disney have collaborated together to create a few lines of different shoes for Tom's. And my biggest purchase was a pair from the collection. Um, I got a pair from the Sleeping Beauty collection. So I got these lace up Tom's and they have small pink stars on them. And then on the side they have the fairies from uh, Sleeping, Beauty. Sleeping Beauty and I'm just they're so cute and then and they're comfortable yeah they're very very comfortable they have um, insoles built into them I'm just so excited about them they're so cute and so very comfortable cute. they come in uh, different yeah they actually have themes. they actually have a Sleeping Beauty collection and a Snow White I mean a Sleeping Beauty collection and a Cinderella collection that has different styles different you don't have to get the lace ups you can get the classic Tom's mm -hmm. um, style but yeah, I was really excited because they had my size and they had the ones that I wanted in my size. So it was just meant to be. It was perfect. So in the Grand Californian, they have these beautiful, beautiful robes that say the Grand Californian. And I thought that's so nice. And we were down in the gift shop the first day purchasing water or Diet Coke for ourselves. And so I'm just looking around the gift shop and what did I run into <laughs> but Disneyland robe, yes. It and I had to have it, and it's beautiful, it's so pretty. And it says Disney's Grand Californian Resort on it, yes. and it has the design for the logo. It's, yes. in, it's um, embroidered in and it's furry on the inside, plush, very it's soft. So soft. It's so worth the money. So, I got that for me. Next thing that I picked up was this. Star Wars Lounge Fly Backpack, which I've actually been looking for for In like eons and eons, and I finally found it. They were completely sold out at Disney World whenever I went. Um, so it's just got little Star Wars characters on it, and I actually bought this one because C-3PO is right at the front, and he's my favorite character in all of the Star Wars universe. And yeah, I was really, really excited about this. I also grabbed these Star Wars shorts. So cute. That had the Rebel Insignia on the on the um, leg and then they have an elastic waistband that says Star Wars all around it and I am just these are these look so comfy I haven't even tried them on yet so I think she's it. pumped but yeah I'm really excited about those I got this Star Wars and Neff collab shirt so it's my favorite color and I really really love Ewoks so I got this shirt and I'm so excited about it. I think it's so cute mm -hmm. because it's kind of like a pop art style. And I honestly just think that the colors are really beautiful. So I'm very excited about that. And then on the back, it is a racer back top and it says Neff on the back. So, so like I said, C-3PO is my most favorite character ever. And they never, C-3PO never gets enough recognition because everybody hates him and everybody thinks he's annoying. And I, I think, think he's a whiner. Yeah, I think that's why I like him so much because I too am a whiner and also annoying sometimes. So, uh, I found this and it is so cute and comfortable. So soft. It's so soft. I, I honestly think it may be a pajama shirt, but I'm gonna wear it as a regular shirt because I just love it. It is kind of sheer, so I'm going to wear it with like a cute bra or something, and I'm just so excited. It says, don't blame me, and it looks like very 80s, and it's got C-3PO, and I'm just, oh 
my god. So this is a Tsum Tsum of Donald Duck. Donald Duck dressed as a crab. Gotta have He's, so, He's cute. so cute. Oh my god. And anybody that knows me knows that Donald Duck is my favorite and I also love uh, like this sea life and wildlife in the ocean. And so this was just perfect. Literally perfect. And then the next one mom literally talked me into. She told me that I would regret it if I didn't get it. She set it down twice. It's the 75th anniversary of Chippendale Zoom Zooms. So it's just Chippendale and little plush hats. And I'm so excited. They're I'm so cute. I'm glad she got them. And it says Acorn Club on the top. Oh my <laughs> God. They're so freaking cute. So mom and I also, since we were able to go to Pixar Fest, we were able to pick up the Sully popcorn bucket. And I honestly wish that we could have somehow brought the popcorn that was in this bucket home with us because it was so delicious. But popcorn bucket and on the back, Sully's back opens. And that's where the popcorn goes. And you wear it around your neck. And it has a little monster zinc tag. You can eat popcorn all day just walking around with it yeah. around your neck. Yeah. And the popcorn was oh, fabulous. It was so good. So that was really cool. Definitely. And then the last thing that I picked up. So on Pixar, I'm gonna I'm gonna make this announcement because a lot of people don't actually know about this. Because I didn't know about it until we went. On Pixar Pier, they have Midway Games. Midway Games, yeah. They have Midway Games, and what you do is you buy a little Midway card, and you load money onto the card. Yeah, each each game is 400 points. So if you pay $20 to load a card, you get to pay five games. You have 2,000 points. Yeah. So I won three of, the game, three of the five games that I played. One of the little things I've already given to my boyfriend. So I won this on Pixar Pier and it's a little star and he's winking and then in the back is his Pixar Pier. It's so cute and you cannot buy these, you have to win them. Everything okay. that I'm like, these two items in this bag, you cannot buy them at Pixar Pier or at Disneyland, you have to win them. So I was really excited about that and then I won a Wally. <laughs> And then the last thing that mom got. Okay, I love Beauty and the Beast, and I actually have. She has Cogsworth Lumiere yeah. and uh, Chip. Chip. So I needed the other little thing to complete my collection, and there it is. The little rose, and it lights up. I don't know if you can tell it, it lights up, but it's so pretty. I'm gonna turn off this light, that way you can see better. Yeah. See, that little rose lights up. So, and it's in the glass. Okay, you can turn it back on. So this is just. Oh, wait. Hi. <laughs> this is just, I mean, this just completes my collection. And it's got the little rose petal down here where oh, one's already that. fallen. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. So this is actually an ornament. You can hang it, but I don't, I just want to set it with my collection. So. So there you go. That completes our haul. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Yeah. Like, subscribe, comment. If you have any questions, comment down below and I will try my best to answer them. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me, Mom. Bye, guys. Bye.